drug check, saliva scan, oral fluid drug test procedure. Before use, bring the test to room temperature, 15 to 30 degrees Celsius or 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Visually inspect the foil pouch containing the test device to ensure that the pouch is intact. Do not use if the foil pouch is not intact. Seal broken, tears, holes, etc. Verify that the expiration date printed on the pouch is valid. Do not use if expired. Tear open the foil pouch and remove the test device and collection swab. Do not use the collection swab if the indicator dye is visible in the saturation indicator window prior to use. Important, donors should not place anything, including food, drink, gum, and tobacco products in their mouth for at least 10 minutes prior to specimen collection. Do not bite, suck, or chew on the sponge. Remove the collection swab from the clear pouch without touching the sponge and hand it to the donor. Using the collection swab, have the donor sweep the inside of the mouth, cheek, gums, tongue, several times. Then hold the swab in the mouth until red color appears on the saturation indicator strip. The donor must leave the swab in the mouth until instructed to remove it. If at seven minutes, red color on the saturation indicator has not appeared in the indicator window, proceed with the test. Remove the collection swab from the donor's mouth and without touching the sponge, insert it sponge first into the screening device, pushing until the locking flange locks in place in the bottom of the device. Note, once the collection swab locks in place, the device is airtight, tamper evident, and ready to be disposed of or sent to a laboratory for confirmation for a presumptive positive result. Set the device upright on a flat surface and keep upright while the test is running. Wait for colored bands to appear in test results area. Allow the test to proceed undisturbed until a reddish purple control C line appears and the test background clears. The control line is the uppermost line in the test channel. Interpreting results. Once the control line is visible, the test is ready to be interpreted. Typically, this occurs in two to eight minutes. Read presumptive positive results at 10 minutes. Do not interpret results after 20 minutes. The THC strip does not wick as quickly as the other strips. The THC strip is designed to wick slowly, which allows the sample and the antibody to incubate and provide the sensitivity of the THC at 50 nanograms per milliliter. Negative. A negative result for any single drug is the presence of a reddish purple line in both the control, C, and test, T regions. A negative result indicates that the drug concentration is below the detectable level. Note, the intensity of the test line may vary. Any test line, without regard to intensity, color, or size, is a line and indicates a negative result for that drug. Positive. A positive result for any single drug is the presence of a reddish purple line in the control, C region, and no line in the test, T region, after 10 minutes. Saliva scan provides a presumptive result only. A positive result indicates that the drug concentration exceeds the detectable level. Invalid. Control line fails to appear. Results from any test which has not produced a control line at the specified read time must be discarded. Please review the procedure and repeat with a new test. If the problem persists, discontinue using the kit immediately and contact your local distributor. If the device includes alcohol, read the alcohol strip at two minutes. Compare the color of the reaction pad with the color chart provided to determine the relative blood alcohol level. No color change indicates a negative result. For forensic use or export only.